Hey there, my name is Johnny Pugh, in-game character name Sir Livingston, and today we'll be taking a look at the new exploration site currently in testing on Singularity. Now this is called the Small Sleeper Storage Site, but CCP uh, Paradox said on the forums tomorrow it's going to be renamed to Limited Sleeper Cache. So we don't really know what it's going to be named, but uh, here's what the site looks like. That is the initial structure you'll see. It is a hackable structure. As you see in the info window, it says data analyzer. So you hack it just like you would any other data can. If you are successful, it'll open a rift-like wormhole looking acceleration gate that leads to the second room of the site. If you fail, however, it says there could be danger, but I did not fail to hack, so I don't know what it would have done. As you see, there's the rift-like looking wormhole thingy, but you don't actually jump through this wormhole, you just access it like an acceleration gate. You warp right through it. So, don't really know why, maybe that's just a placeholder, but it doesn't feel right to warp through a wormhole looking thing. I want to jump through it, but who knows, maybe it's a you know, a technical hurdle they don't want to deal with with the site. I don't know. But this leads to the second room, and uh, we're going to see what we have in there. It's a interesting site. I, I run it once. I haven't run it twice, just once. So this is the very first time you're seeing it ran by me first time. So I make mistakes, maybe. I don't think I do. We'll see. You see those clouds? Those are toxic. If you get within a certain proximity of those clouds, those plasma clouds, you will take damage. And uh, you'll see that when I continue running these, this site and these containers. The biggest thing with this site is there are multiple dangers, right? And, but there are ways to get around those dangers. What I'm hacking right there is a remote pressure stabilizer for the station uh, debris big old station piece of debris to uh, the left of that. Now once you successfully hack that pressure stabilizer, it will stabilize the uh, toxic outflow of radiation, whatever it is, that will damage your ship if you get within range of that container that I'm approaching before you stabilize it. So currently it's stabilized, or it's stabilized right now for about two to four minutes as the uh, little message said. But after that time, it will become unstabilized or destabilized and again also damage you if you get within proximity. So you just, you know, you hack the remote pressure stabilizer, you go hack the container that the uh, station was pretty much engulfing, then you're pretty much done with that little, uh, you know, little problem. But right now, I saw, right after doing that, I saw there's another remote structure. And it's, you know, for the defense grid. I'm like, okay, A plus B equals C. One plus one equals two. Pretty simple. Okay, so if I want to continue running the site, I should probably hack the defense grid. So this leads me to believe that CCP is finally putting the, uh, the role-playing aspect of hacking into the experience, you know, not just hacking into a random container in a data or relic site. We're actually hacking a container for a purpose that will lead to something else. Truly what hacking should be. Uh, so this is one step towards that, and it is great that they're finally doing that. So if I ha see defense is down, defense grid is down, I'm good to go, and I assume if I didn't do that, I would have maybe caused some other hazard to spawn and aggress me. Maybe turrets or maybe a sleeper. Don't know. We didn't fail, so we won't know. Maybe I'll run the site again and fail everything just to find out what happens. And uh, that was an uh, explosion. I did not know this. There are these egg-like, you know, structures. You know, sort of like a station egg, if you know what those look like. If you get within a certain range, they will detonate because they are apparently filled with volatile materials and if you get too close, they just explode. So if you're in a little frigate and not much of a tank, you should still be okay, but 
it's it's like it's there to scare you uh, so personally I think there should be more damage to come from it but uh, you know I think it should be enough to take uh, take a frigate you know into armor and really scare the player that is one of the second explosive egg in the site and I decide to keep my distance I don't get within less than 3,000 meters I keep outside of 3,000 meters I, I figured that 3,000 meters was the uh, detonation range, I figured, but could be wrong. This is the most profitable hacking container in the site. It dropped a BPC. That is a three-run BPC for a storyline backup array. Pretty cool. I checked the market. It said this particular item sells for about 45 million. So, yeah. Pretty good drop, and uh, I like that. You know, a, a new type of exploration site that drops decent loot. Finally, right after they nerfed, you know, all of hacking sites in the universe with Odyssey, got some uh, exploration content that's profitable again. You know, ghost sites were profitable too, but you know, this is not an anomaly. This is, you know, you gotta probe it. One thing I need to mention before this all wraps up is that these sites are meant for uh, more experienced explorers. People who have decent probing skills and very good hacking skills, like, you know, like a T2 hacking analyzer, data or relic analyzer, also with you know pretty good probing skills because when I probed this site, it took me a long time. Now, I just purposely got close to that plasma cloud to see how close you really have to be to take damage. As you see, I'm pretty far away from it and I was still taking damage, so I was surprised. Maybe they'll increase the... decrease the proximity effect of it because I felt like it was... I was just, you know... I was far enough away, I shouldn't have took damage, but... Eh. So we're just testing those things out. The hacks, apparently the hacking mechanic in these sites are supposed to be harder than the average null sec hack, but I just found them to be just like a normal null sec difficulty, you know, like null sec hacking site difficulty. And really the way they described it on the forum, I figured it would be something like one, like almost like wormhole, but I guess wormhole sites, hacking sites are so extreme. Anyway. Uh, I saw that container, uh, if I flew directly to it, I would have to go through a cloud. So I decided to take a long route underneath everything and come up from underneath and avoid the clouds. That's what I noticed about this site. There are environmental dangers, uh, you know, problems to be solved. You know, you got to pressurize that uh, station to gain access to that container safely. You got to hack the defense grid to turn off defenses so you don't uh, trip something while you're you know, running the sites. We gotta manually pilot around the toxic clouds. You gotta avoid those explosive eggs. So all kinds of stuff, and I really thought this site was a, uh, this type of site was a good direction that they're taking exploration and truly using the hacking mechanic how I felt it always should be. You know, it's meant to hack system receive bacon it's hack the system to access something else that's how i feel about it and i i hope you enjoyed this preview of the new exploration content probably coming in a phoebe point release in a couple weeks and uh i'm feeling pretty good about it thanks for watching i'll see you next time